International team vice captain Tony Johnston has now joined a chorus hitting out at the yobbish behavior of U.S. fans and also the unsportman's like words and manners of U.S. players Daniel Berger and Phil Mickelson during last week's President's Cup. Johnston remarks spring for Mossy-born Mark Leishman's wife, Audrey, who bravely spoke out at the yobbish ways of dozens of the clearly beer-fueled Liberty National spectators. However, Johnston has gone further calling for the PGA Tour, as organizers of the event, to introduce further measures to evict those causing disturbance and off-front. Golf is one of the last bastions of sportsmanship and decent conduct, both inside and outside the ropes, and there is no place for some of the behavior we witnessed in New Jersey, said Johnston. You want atmosphere at these big team events, and you absolutely expect patriotism. It's the same in Europe for the Ryder Cup, and you get the home crowd cheering for the home players at the President's Cup. But what you don't get from the galleries is abuse of the opposition. Tony Johnston L. with Captain Nick Price at the 2017 President's Cup We should be clear that it was a tiny, tiny percentage of fans trying to spoil the enjoyment of others. The majority of the home fans were fine. They were partisan, that's to be expected, but they were appreciative of good golf and applauded good shots from both sides. The crowd behavior over the first two days was impeccable, but there were incidents over the weekend that I don't want to see again. Unfortunately, there were a small minority of yobs whose sole purpose seemed to be detracting from the pleasure of others. These are probably the same idiots who go to PGA Tour events and shout mashed potatoes and all those other inanities, and then they rush home to watch the golf they recorded, hear their voices on the TV and immediately tell their buddies what fantastically clever people they are. Johnston posted a clip of one particular incident when an American in the crowd bellowed get in the water moments after Adam Hadwin had struck his tee shot, but he described that as mild compared to some of the abuse. When you see behavior like that at the President's Cup or the Ryder Cup, it just doesn't belong at those events, it's disrespectful, added Johnston. Some of it became really obscene and people were thrown off the premises, although probably not enough of them were evicted, to be honest. I read Audrey Leishman's blog comments, and good for her. It's time someone stepped up and highlighted how bad it is because, unless you were there, you have no idea how bad the minority of fans behaved. Some of it was really horrific and we had to be incredibly restrained. And Johnston also singled out not only Berger and his odd we want to crush them remarks but also the actions of Mickelson on day four. What Daniel said was unfortunate and unnecessary, and I thought Mickelson's dance routine was pathetic and unsportsmanlike, Johnston said. I can't believe he had actually practiced that in the locker room. If you want to look silly, that is fine, but don't do it before your opponents have putted. There's a time and a place for that kind of thing, and Phil got it badly wrong. That was a complete lack of sportsmanship and, to me, showed a lot of disrespect towards his opponents. But I must give huge credit to Kevin Chappelle. Kevin and his wife came and apologized for the behavior of the fans and some of the players, and I thought that was a really classy gesture. I had never met Kevin until last week, but he seems a really nice down-to-earth guy and I've got a lot of respect for him for doing that. Johnston accepts that many of the unsavory scenes were alcohol-fueled, but with some observers defending the behavior and comparing it to other sporting events, he insists this should not be encouraged in golf. He said people keep talking about the need to grow the game, which is fine. But do we want to do that at the expense of common decency? It's a game of self-policing, honesty and sportsmanship, and it's really not that difficult just to act with decency. The bottom line is that golf is above that kind of yobbish behavior. That's always been the case, and we need to do more to keep it that way. This story was reported on SkySports.com.